hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a quick video on how to make the tassel banner that i had in my gender reveal party you can um click the link at the top there as well if you want to watch that video i definitely recommend it it was really really exciting to find out what we were having um but yeah i think this is a great diy project just to decorate any party really it doesn't have to be perfect ours definitely wasn't um but it doesn't matter nobody's really looking that close and it was just for a family get together it does make for really nice pictures though as i mentioned in my last video these are really really versatile and you can use them for any sort of party if you just switch out the colors um you can do rainbow colors or pastel colours if you're having like a unicorn party or an Easter party, maybe do red and green for Christmas or black and orange for Halloween. It is definitely something that I'll be doing again in the future for other parties. It's really really cost effective so I think it's a really good project. So yeah, so if you want to see how you make this tassel banner then please keep watching. So what you will need for your project is some sellotape, um, some string and scissors. And then you'll also need your tissue paper in all the colours that you want to do. I've got pink and blue here and I've got 10 sheets each which I got from Card Factory for 99p each. So I have already done the pink ones, they were the ones that I experimented with. Um, the first ones did turn out quite bad um, but I got better as I went along. Um, so we're going to show you how to do the blue ones this time round. Spread it out onto the table um, and try and flatten it out as much as possible. I'm then going to take the top sheet, so I'm going to do one sheet at a time um, and fold that in half uh, lengthways. And then I'm going to fold it in half again the other way. Um, and what I'm going to do is cut along the side edges where they meet um, so that there's two pieces. And then once I've got those two pieces, I'm going to fold it in half again and make sure you're cutting through the open side. Um, and you're going to cut pretty much all the way to the top, just leaving yourself with an inch or two at the very top. Don't cut all the way. And then I'm going to fold again and do the same. And I'm going to just keep folding and cutting exactly the same way. Um, and then once you've done all that, you just want to open out the tissue paper. So you'll have two pieces, put one piece to one side and then open the other half out completely. Um, and once you've done that, you can start rolling the middle section. So you just want to roll as tight as possible. Don't worry if it's not neat. You want to roll as tight as possible all the way up to the top. Straighten out your um, little tassels on the end and then you want to start twisting. So you twist the part that you've just rolled up. Um, and twist all the way till you get to um, the bits that are cut and then once you've done that fold the twist in half and then I'm going to grab a little bit of sellotape to make sure you pre-cut your sellotape beforehand and then apply sellotape so that it holds everything together. So I got two tassels out of one sheet so I did three sheets all together and I ended up with six blue and six pink doing it that way um, and there you go that's one tassel done of course depending on the size of the area that you're going to put this you can have more than six if you need to just to fill the area up because I'm doing it on top of the tissue paper I don't think you can see it very clearly so I'm just going to move the tissue paper out of the way and show you again so I've got one tissue paper here that I've folded in half and then we're going to fold it in half the other way and then we're going to cut that edge so we've got two pieces. And then once we've done that, we're going to fold in half again. And we're going to cut from the part that's open. And we're going to cut almost to the top. We're going to leave about an inch or two at the very top. And then we're going to keep doing that. So we're going to keep folding and keep cutting until we get strips that are about an inch thick. Um, you can do them thinner if you want, but the paper was getting quite thick and it was getting pretty hard to cut, so I left it with one inch. I think it does look nice the smaller the um, cuts are. And then we're going to roll the tissue paper up as tight as possible 
um, straighten out the cut edges and then twist. The reason why I didn't do all my folds first and then cut at the very end is because I don't I don't think I had a very good pair of scissors. It really struggled to cut through the thickness. So I decided to um, fold, cut, fold, cut. But of course, if you have a good pair of scissors that it's not going to tear through the tissue paper, then do all your folds and then cut up either side. Um, and that's what I did for the, my first pink one and it came out really, really poorly. So I decided it was best for me to do do my cuts one at a time. But yeah, see what works best for you. Um, it will save you a lot more time if you were to do all your folds and then cuts after. It works the same either way, it looks the same either way. Once we've done the twist, we're gonna fold in half and then apply some sellotape so it doesn't come undone. Um, but yeah, so once I had all my pieces sorted, uh, once I had six of each, I started to lay them down in order, in the order that I wanted, so I could visualise what it was going to look like. I decided to do alternates, do one pink, one blue each. You could do some pink, some blue, and then do some more pink and some more blue. It's up to you how you want to do it, but this is the way I thought was best. And then I, um... Got my string ready and started feeding the holes of the tassels through the string. Um, and then once that was done, my tassel banner was complete. And it turned out really, really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, and like I said, it looks really, really good in the pictures. So it's nice to have had something that I've made. My husband did the food, my brother did some of the food and also my mum. So at least this is something that I've done for the party. Hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment any questions down below if you want to. My next video coming up will be a baby haul video of all the clothes that I've bought in preparation for baby. So please keep an eye out for that one and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.